Well, I recently had an email from Steve in Home Bay in Kent in England, and he says, My wife loves Art Deco cards, and I'd love to do a Valentine's card for her. No, she likes Macintosh style. Uh, would I come up with a design for him? And that's just what I've done. I've kind of looked at lots of Macintosh things, and, and Macintosh is very famous for this kind of rose design. So I've uh, played about with a few ideas, and this is kind of what I've come up with and um, I'm going to show you how to do this and I'll tell you a bit more about Macintosh along the way. Now I'm going to use uh, a piece of card, this is actually made for uh, doing cards with, so it's got a nice little fold down there already and, uh, and I'm going to fold it and, and press it down so that I know the shape and the size that I want to draw. If you watch a lot of my videos you know I usually do a lot of planning and today I'm just going to be brave and go straight in there. I'm going to draw an oblong like that and then I'm going to make it kind of like a frame and then down here I'm going to put another little block across there. And this is just kind of Art Deco-y, macintosh -y kind of style. And I'm going to draw a line going right the way through the middle. There. Another one there. And another one there. And this is just, this isn't really macintosh, I'm just going to, this is my kind of interpretation of his style just kind of filling in that area. Charles Rennie Mackintosh, who lived from 1868 to 1928, was a Scottish architect and he was a designer and uh, artist too. He was kind of the main person in the British Art Nouveau movement, although he's kind of a bit Art Deco as well in t times. You may well know him for his very distinctive chair designs. A motif he used again and again was the rose. He simplified the shape of the rose until it was almost an abstract design. My very simplified version is based on this wonderfully elegant design by Macintosh. Look him up to find out more about this very influential designer. We're going to start off with a bowl. So just draw a, a kind of a, an open U shape like that. And it wants to be curving off at an angle, kind of pointing up to these corners. And then draw a line across and a line across and a line across. You could again put some dots or something in there. You can put extra pattern if you like. This is where we come to the, the classic Macintosh rose and right in the middle up here right about there draw a nice firm round circle and then draw an arc from it and then another arc kind of like that and another arc cutting across and then draw an arc cutting there and there and there and there and there. And we now have a classic uh, Macintosh kind of rose style. I'm sure Macintosh fans will say it's not quite right, but this is, the, this is my interpretation. Okay. So again, now these are kind of hidden behind. So we've got the one in the middle that's at the front. And then we do very similar kind of thing here. It's kind of chopping off the corners all the time. Like that, and again there and there. Chop off the corners like that, and then we can draw two more that are behind again, and we'll draw these. Uh, <laughs> my brain. There we go, and and maybe do that the other direction just to make it look different. Just like that. And then we can do a straight line down there and a straight line, don't do it right to the edge and then like that. And then we can do the other ones filling up in the middle. And what we're going to do here is now put little kind of rose buds like that and they're going to go like that. So these are kind of teardrop shapes and kind of go across and across. And you might want to put another little one there. And just filling in these spaces and making it, just prettying it up really. And we can put one up there as well. And one up there. Oh, I made a mistake there, never mind. <laughs> and you don't need to worry. It's nice to have it sort of actually balancing up. But there we have, there we have the basic design. Now we're going to colour it in. 
I like using Copic markers a lot, but um, I'm going to use uh, crayons this time because not everybody has markers. And you might just have a box of crayons or you might find them easier to get hold of. And I'm just going to shade all this in in pink and kind of follow follow the angle of the way it's going around. So go around with the shape if you follow what I'm talking about. <laughs> and you don't need to be perfect with this at all. And the little buds as well. And I'm going to add a bit of purple rather than um, red. So I'm going to keep these kind of pinky. And start with, leave this central rose standing out like that and kind of go a bit behind. This will make it stand out. This kind of adding a shadow really. I've had a bit of shadow to the edges of these things and right in the corner parts up on the outsides and then the corners as well and I don't think you have to be terribly accurate if you're a very accurate kind of person that's fine you need know, to take your time but if you're a bit scribbly like me then uh, scribble away I'm sure I zoom in there and I think I'm going to make this more purpley down here then I might just kind of flick in some shape as it were there. and just press a bit harder on the edges to give it that bit of 3D shapiness and again oops I've gone over there purple down the edge I mean if you're a person who likes everything really straight you could use rulers um, and get it all absolutely accurate and you know there are no rules this is just a kind of a showing you the plan for a Macintosh bowl of vases. You can use it, you could use it for Mother's Day, but you can use it for Valentine's Day. I'm doing this for Valentine's Day at the moment, I think. There you are, I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day and you become a hero or heroine to the one you love. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure you're subscribed so you can watch my Wednesday Joy Show every Wednesday and go and have a look at my nearly daily vlog uh, for background on how I make my videos and about my life in general. Thanks for watching. Keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.